What's going on everyone? Agent Kilmer here. And with a little under two weeks to go before Origins releases, I've been playing through the entire Assassin's Creed series. I just finished up Unity. Now it's time to move on to Syndicate. Which is was terribly underrated, I think. It got it got hit with franchise fatigue. I think that's pretty clear. Though being the Assassin's Creed fanboy that I am, I I love this game. This is probably my third favorite in the franchise. I think I'd put it below I put it uh, below just uh, Black Flag and Brotherhood at this point. So without further ado, let's uh, let's get going on this. For as little as Unity moved the the plot forward in the modern day, the this moves it forward quite significantly. Abstergo. And here we see how bad uh, Abstergo security is as, as Sean Hastings gets in another one of their uh, secure facilities. Hello, Initiate. Recently, Abstergo Historical Research began several new projects in London. We both know that when Abstergo makes big moves, the Templars are up to something. We think they're hot on the trail of a new piece of Eden. I've got people in London looking for it. Hey, Bishop! Jacob and Evie Fry are twins. How awesome is that? Speak of the devil. Fire up your cameras, Bex. I've got a picture. ETA on the payload. Sending it now. A lot to sift through. I'm gonna get the initiates on it ASAP. You look weird with a weapon. Let's plant a little bug and see what we can see. Got something. Isabel Ardant has a meeting here in a few hours. Uh, doesn't say with who. Doesn't say with whom, Rebecca. I suppose it's down to Muggins here to find out. Hold on. The mission was to find data to locate a piece of Eden in London. We did. And now I am eager to try this new kit. Hidden blade for the modern day. I don't like it when those two go off book like this. <sighs> well, all we can do is take a deep breath and move forward. You'll be searching for the peace of Eden through the lives of Jacob and Evie Fry. Twin assassins who operated in Victorian London. Your first set of genetic memories are downloaded. Good luck. Brother George, it is as I feared. London has fallen. Thrice I have written to you, begging your aid. Thrice you've responded with silence. And yet I write again. So desperate my need, so few my options. I need you. London needs you. You would say it is too great of a task, or that it is not yet time to strike. Patience, you would counsel. But whilst you wait, the Templars consolidate their power. They have chosen a Grand Master so ruthless, so thorough, one might think Reginald Birch himself had returned. His name is Crawford Starrick, and he intends to rule the world. There is no aspect of society he does not control, no industry that escapes his grim touch. By day, it is corrupt merchants and venal politicians who hold court. Come night, a vicious street gang known as the Blighters strikes terror in the hearts of all. There is no business untainted by his poison, no person unexploited, be it by duplicity or force. Our enemy has designs on the highest office of them all. And so, as you look inward, and dare I say it, afraid, Crawford Starrick's ambition is fixed on the beyond, to kingdoms and continents as yet unconquered, though not for long, for he knows. As I have warned you time and time again, whosoever controls London, controls the world. 
These aren't quite Borgia Templars, but they they don't seem to have any grand vision. They just seem, seem to be greedy. Out to get rich. The iron ships from here. The Templar running things is Rupert Ferris and our target one. Target two is Sir David Brewster, who's got his hands on a bauble that could ruin us in this wretched war. Think you both can handle it? What a question. All oh, right. My mistake. Ladies and gentlemen, the unstoppable Fry twins. See them nightly at Covent Garden. George, honestly, I've studied the plans of the laboratory and have every route covered. And I've got all I need right here. I'll extend your regards to Ferris. Chat later, George. We have a train to catch. Jacob! Evie! May the greed guide you, you vagrants! Poor man. More afraid than ever. The years have not been kind. Evie Fry, where do you get it from? The same place as you, Jacob. Send me some laudanum for my head. Coming right up. They come from a sage grandmaster and uh, the good guy Templars and Rogue to just a uh, generic. Uh, Kind of cartoonishly evil Templars is disappointing. One other thing, um, Blinken, you missed it, but um, I didn't notice it till just this uh, playthrough. In that uh, Templar's office where Sean and Rebecca are, she has a uh, she has the portrait of Hatham that Connor had them. Oh, no. in the training room on the, in the AC3. Locked. What do you think you're doing? Stop now, for this trouble! No one goes in or out, unless there's a problem. I hold the machines. That door opens, and I have my route to Ferris. The way child labor is presented in this game is actually about 10 to 15 years too late. Sanitary inspector. This man is dead. You're the dead man. 
run along home. First things first. Let's uh turn that off. This is the first timeline in Assassin's Creed where, like, openly carrying a sword on public is just not something that's done. Ferris, I'm coming. Mr. Ferris has mandated the Time to head for higher ground. God, I'm having a bad time climbing today.
Mr. Ferris, sir. The, uh, the lad in the factory should be taken to be bandaged by the apothecary. Fine. But dock his wages. Yes, sir. Cartoonishly evil industrialist. Should we arrive at a final price, Mr. Ferris? from Unity, so I'm used to uh, having to uh, press the button in the corner. <laughs> Got our whistle back, thank God. times you needed that whistle in uh, Unity. What's that you say? <laughs> 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 well, that I am pleased to inform you that I have managed to secure a source of iron ore that will continue to generate a steady profit for many a year to come and provide the raw material Further instructions, I am, etc., etc., Rupert Ferris. Send it to Mr. Starrett, please, Mr. Stone. How's your father these days? I hope the doctor I sent has facilitated a speedy return to good health. Yes, sir. Words cannot say how grateful we are. Come, come, there's no need for thanks. You and the others in this office are dear to me. Do let me know if there's anything else I can do. So he's nice to the office staff. It is done. Oh? What did you accomplish, boy? A vault loosened in Starrick's machine. A large vault, but not enough. Your Grandmaster will fall. You assassins can circle London to your heart's content. The mechanism we have built has been going strong for a hundred years and will run a thousand more. It is the very city itself. We will take London from your hands. From Croydon? You lurk in the shadows like a coward. I doubt it. <sighs> Get the Altair uh, blood slide thing going. <sighs> Sorry about your boss.
your buckle, boys! We seem to have made an unscheduled stop. <sighs> Causing chaos, that's uh, Jacob's speciality. Maybe next time I'll walk.